Hi guys. Today I am going to be sharing very important information, and it will potentially save your account. Okay. So basically, let's start with ES. I think S and P five hundred is the most bullish right now, and Russell. I know which everybody thinks is bearish, but I think it has the second most potential to be the most bullish. Because if you look at Russell, it is residing on 50% retracement of this move up. And the way it is turning out, I think it will just do a catapulation down and then start going up like this. A full rocket will start with a b c move so you don't want to end up shorting the c wave this could be the c wave or this could be the start of a third wave up if this is one two and now this is three so you don't want to do it i hope you understand what i'm trying to say don't try to trade this last piece Till, till June comes when the structure will be ready to trade. I think you should, guys should not trade. If you guys are swing traders and or if you are new to trading. Because this can do this and start going up or this can start going up immediately from here like this. Right? Like what happened in NASDAQ in one hour which I just shared with you the other day. The people who scalp Without looking at the biggest structure, they are the ones who always lose money. And I will show you why also. Because NASDAQ, if you go to 15 minutes, and if you had no clue, you were just a scalper in 15 minutes or 5 minutes, then after this move, it was supposed to fall to new high. It was supposed to fall to new high. Why? Because there were lots of divergences over here. Bearish divergences, uh, bearish uh, divergence, hidden bearish divergence and whatnot. But as per the plan, which I discussed in the video, a big up move was coming. So what happened? Instead of, sorry, instead of, yeah, I'll I'll tell you an example also. One of my one of my friend he was saying he was a scalper. He was saying that he would long it, but after he you know scalps it like this. But after this and for this, he he it will fall down like this and then he will long it. So that was his plan before the squeeze occurred on Friday. But this down move never came and we got the squeeze and it never looked back then. The so same way in Russell, in RTY, same thing can happen on weekly. So don't be a participant in the new playground near the 50% retracement, near the 50% retracement and trying to short the 50% retracement. It's not worth it. It's a neutral territory right now. It can either go down and then go up or go down directly from here. Similarly, SMP SPX 500. I think it can, it can go up like this. Retrace and then do like this to break the stop. It has to go and touch this retracement mark. I will, I will clearly more clearly show you in ES what I mean by what I'm trying to say. I think this, this is coming without a doubt, 4 to this level. 
it is coming without a doubt. Four two four four, it's coming without a doubt. And when it will come, it will complete this structure A B C. And this it will complete this structure. But because we are so near to this level, I think we will go to for uh, 4300 and potentially break this top. So how this will pan out? I think it will pan out like this. It will go to 42, uh, 44, then retrace. Everybody will short over here, saying that a reversal is coming. And the next day, it will be up like this. I will confirm it with my video. I'm just here, over here just doing things on assumption. So when the data will come on day by day, I, I, I would be in better position. This I'm telling you from my experience, how the squeeze occurred. So it everybody will short 42, uh, 50 or 42, 40, and it will start going down. People will say reversal is here, and then it will reverse like this and break this top, right? Similarly for the NQ. For NQ, it will definitely go to 13491 and complete the structure. When it is done over here, the structure is complete and it is ready to fall. But I'm telling from the experience that it will go there, turn down, and then will go up again to break the stop. It may or may not happen. So we will have to see. Once this is done, I think you guys should take the profit. Only if you are experienced trader, then you guys should bet on riding the wave to break the stop or to reach this level. And now I would like to share you one more thing. Because of the Tesla chart and because ES structure is like this that it has a big flat in the middle so what if, what if it is wave 3 what if it is start of wave 3 then you know how high it can go i will show you yeah if it is wave 3 then we are going to 4928. This is just on the wave three. You don't know, you don't believe me. Let me show you how. The last time this structure occurred was over here. Here. Can you guys see it? Check the Fibonacci retracement or oh, extension. See how I it went. It went to 1.618 extension just over here. I will show you, I will give you more examples. Last time it occurred, how I it went without us, without looking back. So there is a very good probability that SMP 500 is not going to turn, turn around. So don't end up shorting this thing. I think it will go very hard and after breaking this top, it will correct in just wave two or just do a correction. Forget about wave two. Just, it will just do a correction. Maybe deeper correction, maybe smaller correction. Why? Because to get Russell. Russell is going to do this. But NASDAQ, I'm NASDAQ structure is not is a uh, NASDAQ structure is the least bullish. So I think it will go up like this, break this top, and then it will go down in wave two. This is what I think. But 
structure wise nasdaq could go down but spx and smp 500 you don't wanna you don't wanna see see uh, just uh, this is the weekly chart for spx you don't want to short here just look look on the left side right now you you could be here so you don't want to short here because this is this thing is going easily to touch this red line at least and then what it will be a it will go down in b and then it will go up in C and then it will fall down. This is a bearish case for the indices. Otherwise, if this is the start of third wave, then this is going. I just showed you the extension. So I'm, I'm really confused. Why? Because I think a rotation is going to occur. They are going to take the money out of NASDAQ and put it in the small caps and S&P 500. I think they are going to take the money out of the technology stocks, which will cause NASDAQ to correct in the wave two. And, but the small caps, regional banks, and the S&P 500, which also has financial uh, industry in it, they will, they will not be impacted much and they will continue rising up. Apple. I think Apple will do a correction, but I think the correction will be of this magnitude, maybe only this magnitude. So we need to watch how the, what kind of correction is coming. I think most likely the Apple is going to correct this much only and then maybe continue going up. We need to see. Okay. So for that, we need to take the hint from the DXY. So a good indicator would be once the DXY reaches this target and start going up, we will go short. And once it will start back turning down, we will go long. So this could be the plan in play. This could be the thing which could happen in. So my, the purpose of making this video right now was that this flat is very dangerous. And it has never failed. And this thing structure is ready. So it's going to go up. There's no doubt about it. And once it will go up, it will not reverse immediately without causing the damage. It has to cause damage to the people's life, to the people's account, to the people's mentality. So don't try to find reversal in SMP 500. And also in Russell, the plan is very evil. They are making you guys short the bottom potentially. So it could just do like this and go up or continue going up till here before it will decide. So be very careful about trading Russell right now. I don't have a buy signal on Russell, but it is warning me to get out from the short because something is cooking. Once I will get the buy signal on Russell, I may make a video on it. But the Apple correction will come, but I think correction won't be like a big correction. We have to see about it. But this is what I think. I think some sort of uh, rotation is going to come which will cause NASDAQ to go down in wave two. And because the money will be flowing out of the NASDAQ into the financial industry, S&P 500 and uh, uh, Russell won't be impacted. Let's look at Dow Jones also. Dow Jones.
just look at, after this after this you are here you are here why would you want to show, short this dude this is going to continue going up just look look here can you guys see after this after this why why would you want to short this just check this structure and check this structure this thing is going to cause a lot of damage i think a blow over the top is coming nasdaq will be lucky to get a wave two down in terms of nasdaq going down i think nasdaq will if, if it gets gets the wave two down i think it won't go below this level 12000 yeah this is it and after that 12000 we will have to see and again the up move will start Yeah, fifty uh, around fifty percent retracement, or around moving average two hundred. So, you guys need to be aware of the plan which is coming. I think the plan is a rotation in the stock market, money going out of the Nasdaq into the Russell and S and P five hundred. Your Nasdaq mostly have the technology stocks, so they are going to, I think, take the money out of the technology stocks and put it into the other industries, which will cause Nasdaq to go down because Nasdaq structure could break down because this thing usually do break down this structure. But I have seen this structure to continue going up, uh, continue going up uh, also. So we need to be, we need to be aware of everything. The shorting is very risky right now, given that we are at the start of a wave two. But we do have, in 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 Nasdaq, we do have my the element of my algorithm which looks for reversal. So it is suggesting that once it will go up, it will it. Uh, once it will go up, it will cause very big divergences on the daily time frame. So this could cause me to get this. But trading and betting your money on this is stupid right now. You should bet your money on this. Because I think on June, we will get our bottom. And that bottom will keep on going. That bottom will keep on going. I think this thing will keep on going. This thing will keep on going, I think. This thing is not going to turn from here, like Ron Walker is suggesting. Break this top and go down. No, this thing will keep on going. If this is wave three, I just showed you, it will go up to break the all time highs. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really careful now. So I would be very hesitant to try to short over here. Only with scalping, you can do the shorting because the trend is up and Everybody is bearish. So this means we will go up. This is one of the rules also. Because everybody is saying it's only a matter of time before we break this top. So I think this top is not going to be broken. And it will go up. I think at this point, we should also keep looking at the Bitcoin also. Because of the correlation with the Bitcoin and the stock market. So it is also suggesting me that it will go up and then will correct, make some sort of a inverse head and shoulder and then go up. So 
you guys should buy here buy stock market if you are saying trader when when it falls in wave 2 bitcoin falls in wave 2 nasdaq falls in wave 2 smp does a, uh, does some sort of a correction then you buy Just look at YM. Does this structure look bearish to you? This is going to break the top, man. You are here. Be very careful now. I'll see you next time.